for his family, we thought, oh, it's going to be this whole sequence. Like, he, there's like, you know, a train involved, and there's like dog hazards, and, you know, crazy stuff is happening. And we sort of pared it back down to like, what if it's just a car ride? Like, is it possible that that could feel, given the narrowness of like, the voice, the eye, the world, the s just two characters, will that quickly make that feel like a huge set piece emotionally? Um, and so like, thinking about what will suffice was the pathway to some, working with something that was that small, and like in terms of that eye. And I, yeah, I've heard the image talk about how hard it is to <laughs> work with such limited talent. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and, and Dean and I, you know, worked very closely on the animation stage to make sure that, like, I mean, for every single shot, we personally acted it up together. You know, like sometimes he was coming, and it was Marcel. Like, there's, and we would shoot video reference for everything for the animators, and then go in and actually do our live performance with the animator for every single shot. Um, and yeah, we had so many conversations about how do we um, get that emotion really coming through with this plastic googly guy. Um, and to, I don't know if this ruins the magic or makes it feel more magical, um, but we sort of developed this technique. Um, we knew that, yeah, again, it's a very limited palette. We didn't have much to work with. We literally have the eye and we have like one joint, which is like where the feet meet the body. Um, and we didn't even have mouths on the stage, but we did that later. So there's just not much to work with. Um, but, you know, there's obviously not a lot of big movements either, but you don't need them. Because um, I feel like what really sold it was uh, we would we would take the eye, which was ungoogled, so it's like the art, the puppet team would have to like slice open the googly eyes, glue the google the, the pupil down, <laughs> um, and then re-glue the um, the plastic dome over it, so they were all kind of locked in place. But you'd have an assortment of, of different um, them looking different ways, and we just take like the ones that were maybe like looking in the middle, uh, and and of course it was done by hand, so it's not like mechanically dead center, it's like there's a little variation there, just minute, um, and it was enough variation that like, all you would have to do is just like, just like rotate the eye in place, like just like, you almost breathe it out, like barely anything, and then you would just get these like, just like little eye, eyes like darting around, almost, almost imperceptible, but I, I really credit that for, um, he just feels alive, he doesn't have to move very much, but you just feel like this eye thinking and searching, and, and the acting is all, all done just with those tiny little movements, just to um, just so the audience feels that like there's something the wheels are turning inside, something's going on. He's thinking about something. And he's you know uh, feeling emotions. Yeah. Uh, how long can you let him just stand doing nothing before he starts to seem dead? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I don't know the exact frame count, but you'd be surprised. You know, Quick? I was no, I, I think oh, I think oh, yeah. and I was always encouraging animators to like hold longer. Like mm -hmm. it's. It, that was probably our biggest performance challenge, is just like, animators are amazing at what they do, and they wanna show off their skills, and they wanna go big with it, and they wanna do like, yeah. you know, do all the posing, and constantly have them moving, and it's like, we had to do the opposite of that, it was dumb, like we had to just pare it down, pare it down, where it was like, just patient, like, be patient, just like, sit in the holes, like that's what I would tell, it's like, just, if you feel like you need to move it, just, just sit a little longer in that hole, you know? And then, and it was just, like, just, dead puppet, like just hold it, and then blink, like just like a little blink is all you need, you know? And you can get away with like many, many seconds before, and just a little blink, keep it alive, continue to hold, and it really like, yeah, he feels very alive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no,